Hi everyone! So today we're going to talk about Stern Visa State University e-learning portal. Okay, now let's try to open up a browser and type in the address bar lms.ebsu.edu.ph Then hit enter. Then it will redirect us to this page. Now if you have already an account, then you may now log in using your username or your email nyo. Then yung password. Then just click login. Okay? So kung wala pa tayong mga account, all you need to do is to create one. Okay? You can click this link here to new account or yung button. Yung create new account button. Click natin dito. And it will be redirected as to this particular page asking are you an employee or student? So since employee naman tayo, of course, we're going to click the green button. And dito sa page na to, um, i-verify ng system if you are truly part of the Stern Visa State University using your employee portal login details. Then we need to type it here. And just click verify. Then after that, it will be um, redirected to this page. Then we need to specify here yung age natin at saka yung country kung saan tayo nakatira. So of course, yung age and saka yung country, Philippines. Then just click proceed. After that, we will be redirected to this form. Okay, so let's start filling out the form with our username and password. So for the username, it is recommended to um, set up your username with having a first name dot last name. Having that kind of format. Okay, then the password, the password must be at least 8 characters, at least 1 digit, at least 1 lowercase letters, at least 1 uppercase letters, at least one non-alphanumeric character such as asterisk, dash, or a number sign. Okay? So this part, let's try to figure it out. So for the email, and also for the email again. So for the email, we can do it actually the Gmail if we have, but it is recommended to set our FC email. Okay? Then, of course, the first name, then the last name or the surname, then the town or city, and then the country. Now, we need to click the I am not a robot, the recapture. Okay? Then, if after um, filling out the form, then just click create my new account. So we will be redirected to this page stating that an email should have been sent to your um, address at one that will approve at the page. So it contains this instruction to complete your registration. If you continue to have difficulty, contact the site administrator. Okay, so now let's try to check our email. Okay. So this is my email. So basically I received here an email coming from the Epson module administrator for an account confirmation. Then let's try to open that one. And it yung makita natin. So we can see here a confirmation link. So all we need to do here is just to click this link so that our account will be confirmed. Okay, click natin yan. Yun. So now we successfully created our account. So it yung first na may kita natin. Okay? So automatically nakalagay na siya. Okay, so this is the first thing na may kita natin for a newly created account. So by default, yung account type natin is student. So paano tayo maging teacher in this particular situation? So yung mga department head po natin, Sila po yung naka-assign para i-assign tayo as a teacher in a particular subject. If that happen, 
then your account type will be changed to teacher. Okay po? Okay, so I hope it gives you a clear idea or an overview for our e-learning portal. Okay?